Imagine, if you will, in 1953, towards the end of the Korean War, when two Korean women become separated. After 70 years have passed, one woman is residing in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea, while the other resides in Seoul, the capital of South Korea. If these women were to take a family photograph now, it would be apparent that the younger sister is taller than the older one. The difference in height between the two countries increased by 5 inches from around 156 inches in the 1950s to about 162 inches in 2021, which is also the story of what democracy does to heights. No, democracy doesn't make you taller, but while democracy itself does not directly affect one's physical stature, as highlighted by Amartya Sen and his Nobel Prize winning work, democracy allows for a fairer distribution of resources. Nothing illustrates this better than height. Let us take you back in time. In 1950, some countries gained independence, while others remained under authoritarian rule. Among those that gained independence was Japan, where the average height of men and women in the 1950s was 150 centimeters and 149 centimeters, respectively. Over the next 50 years, the average height of Japanese men and women increased to 172 centimeters and 158 centimeters, respectively, ranking among the highest in Asia. In contrast, the average height of men and women in North and South Korea was nearly identical in the 1950s. However, after the Korean War and the establishment of two separate governments, the average height in North Korea began to lag behind. By 2021, the average height of North Korean men was 171 centimeters, and the average height of North Korean women was 158 centimeters. This is significantly lower than the average height in South Korea, where men and women measured 174 centimeters and 162 centimeters, respectively. The variation in height trends among different populations is influenced by genetic, social, and environmental factors. Factors such as nutrition and healthcare during early life play a significant role in determining the realization of this potential. Improved living standards and democratic values have also contributed to the increase in average height in South Korea. Democratic governments are more likely to invest in health and education, leading to improved nutrition, better access to healthcare, and more opportunities for growth and development. Going back, if these two women were to come face to face today, they'd be stark reminders of the impact political systems can have on a person's well-being and their society. The difference in their heights would be like a physical manifestation of the change that democracy can bring. Taller people equals taller possibilities.